Good afternoon to you. Well, despite the fact that temperatures today are far higher than they've been for some considerable time in many parts of the country, we're certainly not out of the woods yet. It does look as if very gradually in the next day or so it's going to turn cold again. And indeed, bad news, I'm afraid. Heard you were walking around Hempstead Heath. Well, I was out in Camden Town. Hi, guys. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Chelsea and I am Mary. And today we're doing grocery shopping in... It's Saturday and there are not a lot of buses that's the first thing that i should say and well we just have to buy what we have to buy there's this really nice um asian store and yeah. they have a lot of things it's more like an eat. arab yeah but they have it's arab kum african they are arabs but they sell a lot of african stuff so yeah they have yams so they we have go inside as well everything except kinky and like the nigerian leaves and all those stuff so i'm about to go inside i sought permission he said i could do it so i'll show you subscribe like share binge on her other <laughs> content and make sure that like this one there she's more than me oh people should go and check it out because <laughs> they continue make sure that you drop a comment so she knows that you are watching exactly. and subscribe most importantly share the video to your friends speak about it to your friends so that she can blow do you not want to see content from canada you don't want me to blow come on <laughs> So guys, this is the shop, Pacha Shop and Fresh Meat. I think, you see, they've said Southeast Asian and Middle East Eastern groceries, but they have lots of African stuff. I'm going to show you the inside of it. So guys, let's go inside. Hello. This is my, this is my new friend. I've, I'm starting to bring him a lot of customers. Will you introduce yourself? <laughs> yeah, my name is um, Barbara. Barbara? Yeah. Okay, so they have lots of stuff all over the world like so many things someone introduced me to this place but they have so many things like i'll show you guys the african stuff there i don't want people that so they have okay they have coco yam but they call it yam. bangladesh sabji or something and they have yam the yam i took this is ghana yam Oh, Nigerian, yeah. Nigerian Ghana. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fresh okra. Yeah. Fresh okra. Green banana. These bananas are so big. Like, I've never seen these ones before. No, plantain, cassava, onions. We don't eat potatoes. Rice. Looks like you are doing my yeah, video for me. You no, know, relax. I have they have Milo, Serilac, Peak. This peak is cheaper than the ones they sell in the African stores. They have Nito. How much is the needle? Fifteen. So they have processed okra. They have the fresh one. They have processed. What is that? Oh, I think maybe Nigerians eat that. Yeah. And they have so many types of fish. fish yeah. So, so, so. Look at how big these yeah, ones are. Big fish, uh, what is, fish, what is, fish. is it tilapia or? Fish. We have tilapia fish here. This is so big. So do people buy this? Yeah. Wow, it's very big. <laughs> oh, they're African products. Yeah, there are some of them that have now. What is that? Oh, oh peanut butter. Yeah, come here. And they have titles, I like, see. They have titles all these corn beefs oh they have indomie yeah. how much is the indomie like My, 69 dollars no no the box the box is 29.99 no yours is expensive to it's too expensive ah. it's expensive no these ones i don't know oh, them yeah. I've, i don't know what these i've never seen some before chili oil yeah. And palm oil. Yeah, and they have palm oil. Mm -hmm. Guys, let me tell you the story of palm yeah. oil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I come to the story. <laughs> so, this is something that I find is really hard to come by. I come from a place where we eat like the freshest palm oil, yeah. and I actually know how to process palm oil. Mm -hmm. And coming abroad, actually, when I was in the UK, it was so difficult. I bought palm oil to cook. Um, Afan, it was it was a disaster. I almost emptied the whole bottle into the afang and it did not afang at all. It was simply <laughs> black. And 
if you know anything about alfalfa, you know you're supposed to make it with palm oil. But let's try this and see what the, what it will be like. Why is it made? This from? one don't say. is used to make banga soup. It's different, so it oh, has like of Cote d'Ivoire. It has like water inside of it. That's the difference with this one. This is what people used to make um, banga soup, mm. and I tried it and I didn't like it. Mm. Yeah, I'm one of those people that like to do my things from scratch. Mm. But if you don't have an alternative, you get this. And you don't name them like chicken. What is the intestines? Uh, um, liver. Goat liver, beef liver, um, goat. My, uh, he's so nice. Yeah. He's doing it. Yeah, he's doing my video for me. I'm not even talking. Yeah. <laughs> and it's beef. beef? Yeah. So how much is per beef. pound or per kg? How much are these? Oh, the prices are here. Chicken, hard chicken on sale. I don't eat chicken. Hello. Is it blogging? Yes. How are you? Good. <laughs> They're so nice in here, guys. <laughs> oh, I don't eat chicken, so I'll, I want beef. I'm a pescatarian, you know, semi pescatarian. So much meat, so so much meat. Like, I'm not a fan of meats, you know. And there are some of the things I don't know. Let me turn my camera. Okay, guys. So there are some of the things I don't know. Like I've never seen them. I don't use them. Mostly, I, you know, they have this ginger paste, which I mostly make my own ginger. I don't like processed stuff. So they even have millet flour. I don't know if this millet flour can be used for the porridge that we use in Ghana. I don't know, but you wanna record me? <laughs> okay, yeah. you have to hold it like that. Okay, thank you so much. You guys are so nice. And this is peanut. I don't know what I've never seen this before. Like these are there are some things I've never seen. Like because this place is like worldwide, like everybody, every country. It's not just African, it's all of us. They even have is that wheat? What is this? Oh barley. I don't know what this is. I don't really eat lots of stuff like this. <laughs> Thank you. So I think from what I've seen. Oh, they have spices. Star anise. How much? How much is this? Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Some of them are quite expensive, but well, it's manageable. They have gloves, like no. the powdered one. Black pepper. This one. Oh, I don't know what this is. He has calabash nutmeg or something. Yeah, come here. Sumac. Oh, I don't know what it is. They even have onion flakes. Yeah. Wow. You guys, you guys are making money. You know. are rich. So, yeah. I think for the. Uh, they even have, yeah. So, dried pepper. The ones in Ghana we dry that. So, but this looks like processed one. I don't know. Is it really spicy? Spicy. Spicy. Like Ghana spicy. Yeah. But me, I like pepper. If I don't use pepper, I will become nauseous. They have coconut. How much? I buy two, get one free. Oh, it's this one. You can't, you can't see me. <laughs> yeah. So how much is this one? Two ninety nine. It's too hard. I can't cut it. Oh. I want to make coconut milk for ice cream, but I don't know if I can do it. Can make it. So this is two ninety nine. You take it to see this is a lot, but I'm spending C eighty and. I asked them to bring kinky. I show them a picture of how kinky looks like, like fancy kinky. But I think I'm sure if they bring it, it'll be cheaper. They have mango salo. You guys know mango salo. This one. Green mango. Yeah. I used to eat it when I was a child, but now I'm old. And I don't feel like eating. They even have popo. Can you imagine? These people they are serious. Like, is it popo? But the thing is, they have different ways of calling their stuff. Green papaya. Well, I think that's French. And so I've asked them to bring a tin wear boots because this is like a pot, but it's not a tin wear boots. It doesn't have the lines, so I don't think you can grind in it. I don't know well, but they don't have the tapoli we use to grind and some utensils. But those are the only things that I think they have that I know of. Most of the rest are Arabian stuff. They are really like a serious camp. Look at the biscuits they have. 
it's really they are serious they are serious i'm impressed mm, some teas i'm not a tea person because i take too much tea at work at starbucks so some salt black wheat flour i didn't even know we had wheat flour i mean black wheat but anyway and then black salt what is black salt black salt i don't know what it is so i don't know maybe i'll get beef i'll buy beef what is 25 per pound what meat are you buying? No, this one. That's chicken. Oh. I don't eat chicken. Oh, well, like. Don't have she, she eats chicken. What is the shaki and stuff? What is shaki? The intestine, the mouth. Is it this one? No, no. I don't know. Do I don't think they know. They always call it shaki. Do you have shaki? No, I don't have shaki. Oh. It's inside. It's inside. So, guys, I'm getting beef. This is the price for the beef. It's five ninety nine per pound. I think if you go to, so how much is this whole thing? Forty six dollars. Wow. The other one was how much? How much was the other one? This was I don't eat all of these things, so I'm not gonna buy them. So, so I just want a pound with bones. I don't know. The machine they used to cut this meat is very scary. Like once your hands go through it, like you are dead. My hands will go off. Yeah. It scares the hell out of me, man. Yeah, so this is, how much is this here? I didn't even ask you. How much? Video? Yes. How much? It's uh, usually we sell it four ninety nine. What? Four ninety nine per pound, but only for you like two ninety nine. Two ninety nine per pound. Four ninety nine with it. Thank you. So the whole thing is how much? Two na. It will become maybe okay. fifteen dollars something. Fifteen? Maybe because it's big, very big. big, big, big. Oh, the last big time big. I came, you said it was nine. So I was targeting seven today. Ah, 11 dollars. No, no, no. This Why? No, no, no. No, the last time it was nine. You remember? I came with my big friend. I came with my big friend. You remember? I didn't recognize. Hi, right, so I'm leaving and then I want my friends to say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you for your. Your customer service is very nice. Thank you Thank so much. I'll be so coming all the time. Okay. Thank you so much. How much is offer? Again. She has spent like hundred dollars and she's still buying. She's rich. You got a You got a Yeah, from top to down. I'm not. Look at it. I'm not. She's rich. Rich against. Oh <laughs> Hello. Guess what? I just saw. I've never seen kokoyam in my life since I came to Canada. Like kontumri that we call kontumri in Ghana. They have some. I don't know if you guys can see well. This is the first time I'm seeing some people say you can't sell it here because it has um, you guys, you a guys, very look, look at bad light. Look at what I fan. just saw. I saw Kukoya leaves. And this is so funny because then but my air fan is set. It's Kukoya leaves. I'm definitely going to have I don't need it right now, but probably next time since yes. it's already here. They even have the they bigger have the one too. So. Because why not? Right? Why not? Then I have one more. So they have contemporary in Canada. I'm impressed. Me too. I'm surprised and impressed at the same time. <laughs> wow. Oh, she opened it. See? Are you sure this is Kukuya? It is now. See the existing now. See, see this, this talk. I'm a farmer, so I know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But well, I think stems, this maybe um, it's not grown. Like they maybe they, they are grown here for this thing. They are they are grown for this particular purpose because usually kokoyam leaves to be bigger. Out. Yeah. Yes. So this one is just smaller. So I found contemporary spots in Canada. Very impressive. Very very impressive. So I'm buying the yeah. So I can use it to make the the thing. So it's a chef. Oh, you said I cook a lot, but it looks like you cook local tough ones. The ones that. Take so much time. time. <laughs> hey, I cannot do. Oh, they have butter. If you want to pray. Please give me that bag. Hey guys, I look really tired because I'm very hungry. So we are at a different African shop. This is like a Ghanaian African shop, and I've been looking for this for a very long time. So I've found it. I'm going to ask the price of it before I buy. If it's like fifteen or something, I'm not going to buy. But this thing can break any time. So this is a Ghanaian 
They have the Uhali you are looking for. Have Maggie, Unger, or is that Unger? Sun dry syrup. I don't know what it is. Manga spices. They have better leaves too, the one you are looking for. This is very big. This is a big store. The leaves you are looking for, I've seen some. Sea salt. All of these uh, things I've not seen before. See how neat this place looks like. It's called. I wonder how much this peak powder is. It would be like hundred dollars, especially this one. Yeah. Golden mall. Chopped spinach. Thanks. When I went to the African market, they said they don't allow videos in their shop, so I stopped recording. But I'm coming to make this comparison. You see the Deshi market that I went to, like in the previous videos, that the guys were even happily being in my video, helping me create the content. He offered to hold my tripod whilst I go around and show what they sell. Then even like giving me his Facebook, telling me to subscribe to my channel, showing me, oh, they have this, they have this, they have this, they have this, they have this. Showing my friend, my friend was also doing a vlog, showing her all the things that they have. But we went to a Ghanaian shop. The African market we went to is a Ghanaian, Ghana man shop. And this person said they don't allow cameras. African mind. Then we went to that shop, it was empty, the Ghana shop. No one was there, no one was buying anything. Then we went to the Bangladesh shop there. Ones that now they sell yam, they sell contumery, they have contumery. There were so many people tripping in because of their customer service and how they are friendly. And because if I take a video in your shop, well, I don't have a problem with they saying they don't allow cameras. But I don't know what you feel I'm going to use a video for, or someone is going to sell what you sell. Or well, it doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm home and I'm cooking the yam I bought from the deshi shop i don't think it's pona like the yam we all know but it's a little it's a little bit whiter i'm going to show it to you and my yam is cooking when it's done i'll show you okay a little bit whiter than the ghana yam but i'm yet to taste it i feel it will taste better i'm going to eat it with pepper and then sardines and then fish so let me show you what i'm going to eat right now just grinded pepper added i bought this sardine from the bangladesh shop couple of weeks ago with onions this is me editing and i just realized that i didn't really end this vlog i don't know why i didn't but i had a knock on my door i think that was the reason why i couldn't finish the vlog so i'm gonna end the video here you guys can see the difference between black people africans Ghanaians, and other people when I went to that shop, you saw how they were welcoming, friendly, helpful. They were not thinking of probably competition or someone going to see what they sell and then sell the, sell some. They were happy and helpful. But when I went to my own countryman, so later when I was there, I didn't buy, I only bought the pepper, the red pepper, because everything was so expensive. How can you sell a potoyoa for $29? I thought it was even together with the um, tapoli, but 29 for the Apotayoa and then five or seven for the tapoli. So together thirty something dollars. Like, like even in Ghana they sell apotoyoa for thirty CDs. That's too expensive. Anyway. So later she was asking, I told her I'm a Ghanaian. She's like, Oh, you're a Ghanaian? I was like, Yeah, and I'm trying to be friendly, but this is what it is. I didn't show anything that says that it's the shop. So if in future you see this video, you can't tell me that it was your shop because all shows is your shop. So you can't come and sue me. Anyway. So guys, thank you for watching. I'll come your way same time next week. I'm trying so hard to make my videos really, really long. So I feel I'm doing well. And 
I'll come your way same time next week with another video.